Welcome back to Hasbro's Hide and a very messy bench. But I wanted to show you some of the projects I'll be working on this year. I have many more than this, but this is enough probably to show some of the things that will be upcoming on the channel. First, related to the 6.5 Creedmoor. I've been working a lot with the Savage 110 Desert Tactical Rifle, and it has shot really good groups. Sub uh, 0.5, heck, 1.4 MOA, shooting this Hornady Match. 147 grain ELD bullet and that has been really really good so we're going to use this as a benchmark to judge uh, other results and changes that we're going to do that rifle but of course then we also are going to load our own and we'll clone that round and see if we can do better than that round and see what the expense is to do so maybe it'll be cheaper maybe it won't be but this you know this is like 40 uh, 46 dollars locally uh, for 20 rounds so not cheap not cheap at all but um, we'll see if we can do better than that pricing wise, but really I'm after accuracy. Well, we're also going to put in a rifle basics trigger. And so this will be um, down to four ounces. And I've got the gun just over one pound now. And so we'll see. Uh, we'll see where, uh, how well this does. And we'll try that in that rifle as well. Um, beyond the reloading, well, beyond the bullet side, we're also going to be looking at some very expensive brass, but it has a very high reputation. So we have Peterson brass, we have some other brass, but now we're also going to try um, Alpha Munitions with small rifle primers. And so this is very well spoken of brass, and so we'll see how we do with that as well. Um, beyond that, we have even more to do. If you can see this in the middle, this is a Boyd's at one stock. For our Savage 110. And so we're going to see um, a major change in the gun and then this will be a secondary part of it. It comes, I mean it's just a beautiful gun. I've added uh, these textured target grips here and textured four stock here, grip there, but it doesn't come pillar bedded. And so that's one thing we'll do here as well is pillar bed this for accuracy. And it should already be really good, but we'll shoot it before pillar bedding and we'll shoot it after pillar bedding. And then, of course, we'll bed the action at the same time. So that'll be a lot of fun. And this is just beautiful work by boards. Um, good work on that gun. As part of that, though, we also are going to have, it's on order, have coming in a new barrel for this. And it's going to be from Excalibur, a 26 inch long, um, one in seven twist, 5R rifled barrel. And so I really look forward to that, and we'll switch that out. The barrel from Savage is doing quite well, um, but based on some other experience from a friend's rifle with the uh, Excalibur barrels, I expect to get really crazy good results, but we'll see. But to do that, well, then we have to have, of course, a headspace gauge to swap the barrel out, and we'll do that, and we'll show that process is changing the barrel out as well. Um, as part of the work, uh, well, I neck turn brass, and so these... Uh, this is the, the turning mandrel for that, and this is the uh, proper expander for that mandrel. And so we'll neck turn uh, some brass, and we'll see how much that gets us as well. All in pursuit of dialing that 6.5 Creedmoor absolutely dead on for some competition work. And so we'll see how that goes. Well, we're also going to continue on with a 300 hammer. I've got another video on 300 hammer I just haven't posted yet. Because I just really wasn't happy with the results. That you know, the results are just eh, just okay, not great. And I really wanted to see, I really want to show some great improvements. And so here we're going to have uh, once fired brass for that. So this will be all. Uh, we'll clean it and reprocess it and use that as well. Uh, we'll also then have these trimmers from Elite 3D Design. We'll convert some brass just for fun and see how that comes out as well. We'll of course again shoot some factory ammunition. But then we're going to focus on some hunting rounds uh, in the 300 hammer and then also some target rounds in that as well. And of course, the main purpose of that gun is going to be boar hunting um, down in Texas. But nonetheless, I just really want to pursue accuracy with that. And I've gotten good results, but not great results with 300 hammer. So we'll see where that goes. Um, not to forget the uh, parallel cartridges at the 300 blackout. I have another trimming device for that, for converting brass, from for uh, from 3D Elite 3D Designs, and so we'll check this out too. Just a neat little tool that makes that job much easier. Um, to continue on, six millimeter arc. 
I've only done one video, and it's a slow motion video with our new 6mm arc round. And I, I don't even have probably 60 rounds of that gun. And it shot stupid good. I mean, it was really accurate at 100 yards. And so we have some more here. Some uh, game type ammunition, hunting ammunition. Some more target related ammunition. And then uh, some, <laughs> should be very highly accurate target ammunition. and exp Or bullets, I should say. And expensive here, these Burger 90 grain. Uh, boat tails and so we'll try those as well but that gun is just shooting really well and i, I expect it to do uh, even better with these uh if i can get to it this year i, I plan to these are just partial components okay I, 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 there are just too many things to put out on the table to show this but these are all parts to build our an induction annealer and so uh, instead of going out and spending fifteen hundred dollars plus all the tools for the amp we're going to build our own and I have everything to do that and I have one to build a thousand watt version one at 3000 and so we'll see how well we do with that and uh, that should be fun and a, and a good project technically a good project to do um, sorry reaching across the camera there well guess what you've seen this on the channel more and more uh, we'll do a, a, view, a video on just LaRue triggers as well but this is going into another uh, sort of basic 556 gun it should be really accurate but it's uh, okay, so if you have a budget, I mean, everybody has a budget, but if you have a lower budget and you want to build an accurate gun, how can you do it? And so we have a rifle I'm building now to do that, and we'll put this in it because these uh, are excellent for the money, and uh, they've come down again back to the price sub $100, about $90, I believe, if I remember correctly. So we'll put another one of these in there. Well, we're going to get back to a little bit of uh, bullet casting as well. I keep getting harassed by friends of this channel. Uh, why aren't you casting? And it's like, well, I've been buying cast bullets. And I'll continue to buy cast bullets. You've seen some of them on the channel from Hoosier Bullets. But this one, I can shoot down that 300 Blackout. And I can shoot this one down the 300 Hammer. And so we might check that one out as well. In doing so, well, we're going to do our own high-tech coating. Uh, I've done, I'll continue to do powder coating. I've done a lot of that. But I want to mess around with high-tech coating so we have that as well. So anyway, I thought you might like to see just a few things going on in the channel. I mean, this is a messy bench. And this is not nearly everything. Because we're going to have a lot of 5.56 five, ammunition development. Multiple bullets we really haven't shown or shot on the channel. And comparing back to our still in 55 grain, our rainy champ, Bob's bullets. But also then our 77 grain Sierra Match King for long range accuracy. Uh, we have other candidates to compare to that as well and other powders. So uh, a lot coming up on, on uh, 2023. And I hope you like it. Uh, if you do... Give me a like and subscribe. And if you really have a priority on what you'd like to see first, put it down in the comments. I have a lot to do, and uh, your comments will be very valuable.